let's paint TV. Welcome back. I'm your host, Mr. Let's Paint. I'm going to uh, help you out uh, with uh, some various uh, tips and tools uh, here today on the program. I'm using, uh, first time using this, uh, it's a uh, Corel, Corel, Corel Painter Lite. It's a free program uh, by way of the Wacom tablet that I am using. Uh, and then we're using a desktop, desktop presenter uh, via the Wirecast program. Uh, a little complicated, I know, but uh, bear with me. Uh, but it's wonderful to... Uh, to uh, get, a, get a sense of what's going on here uh, with this. I'm gonna, uh, first, uh, first off, just uh, erase this here if I can. And what we need to do is maybe go bigger on the, the screen. Now look at that. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of erase everything here. Uh, now there might be an easier way to do this, but the, I'm using just simply uh, the, uh, the pen and uh, erase, erasing and the pen together uh, is what we're going to do here uh, for the for the time being. Okay, so uh, let's get the work the pen back, get the pen to work. Okay, here we go. All right, so uh, he, this uh, we're going to draw uh, a skyscraper. Look at that. Uh, these are the various uh, buildings here, and uh, these are the different floors that you put on. Uh, that would be on a skyscraper. Uh, a lot of skyscrapers usually have windows. So we're going to put some windows here. If you can see lots of windows here, uh, that is uh, imperative uh, in, in many respects, though uh, sometimes there is no windows on a, on a building. Uh, that is usually not very much fun to be in one. Uh, you want to you be able to look outside uh, and then we're going to put some mass, three-dimensional mass here, uh, and, and that's perspective. We're, we're, we're dealing with perspective here, and uh, one way to do perspective is just uh, get a perspective point. So we're going to get a point. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm hitting some button wrong. What did I do? Ah, oh, shoot. What? Okay, uh, let's, let's go back here and go to actual size. Okay. No, I don't want actual size. I want <sighs> crap. Okay, uh, zoom to fit, I suppose. Okay, there we go. And so we're gonna have perspective there. That's our perspective point. And look at that. Boom. These are imaginary lines, but this is the perspective point from far way back where. And uh, that is the the way to. Then then you just line up these these lines. You just correct them. If you had them wrong. You can correct them. Now, is it imperative to have these perfect? Uh, not always, but as you can see, it's a it's a parallel deal uh, that go into infinity, which would be over here. And uh, now, clouds do not have uh, necessarily uh, a way to really figure that kind of stuff out—a vanishing point of some sort. Uh, but most likely, in the distance. The clouds will be a lot smaller, uh, and and sometimes you you just kind of base it on how that line works there, the uh, from distance, way far away, and then way up close, bigger stuff, bigger stuff. So that there there you go, that perfect example. Uh, and then there's some shade, uh, usually down on the side underneath. Uh, how much shade? Now here's the trick, kind of a trick question or. Uh, when it comes to clouds, it, w do you have thick, thick clouds, meaning that there's going to be some rain coming down, or is it just the shadow from the cloud, more puffier cloud? And in that case, let's uh, soften that color to uh, more of a gray, uh, grayish, uh, as opposed to so, so dark. Don't make those cl clouds so dark. That way, we will not feel as if we're going to get you know, rained on, which would really ruin our parades. And then we would have to wear, uh, get our umbrellas out 
uh, which would be right here, an umbrella uh, that, of course, we could uh, draw quickly in case that does happen. Um, now, if there happens to be by chance a nuclear bomb, a nuclear bomb that uh, goes off uh, and and a total, uh, and now that's not a that's like a mushroom cloud. Now that's not a that's not a cloud you that's not a cloud you want to see necessarily, but uh, in in real life maybe maybe on on movies uh, in in old 1950s uh, civil defense videos movies. Uh, but what what let's just so happen there is uh, a a nuclear bomb uh, that does go off in the city and you are here, you are here having a good time, but then you just realize that uh, something terrible just went went down. What are you gonna do? Can you uh, uh, save yourself and go down, uh, maybe uh, go into a uh, downstairs in the basement uh, into like a special uh, civil defense? I don't know if you guys ever seen these. They're, uh, they're kind of uh, non-existent anymore, but uh, a, a, they used to be little shelters to, to, to save yourself because uh, rain, uh, rain uh, though could be acid rain, uh, we can handle, but uh, at least on, in small doses. Uh, where, whereas uh, the instantaneous effects of, of a nuclear bomb uh, and the radiation, let's get some color there, uh, will uh, really ruin uh, your day and and fry you. It will, you'll just get you'll just become uh, a toast, uh, and you'll get red, uh, probably red in the face, uh, and, and more people just dying. Uh, be like uh, Mount Vesuvius, uh, in the sense that life uh, will be completely screwed up, uh, and just a lot of people dying. Let's get even more redder uh, color. Uh, red is a great color for uh, to signify death. Uh, and and the like. So th that's what we're and, and it's just all the rays, uh, radiation. It's uh, really really going to be bad news uh, when if and when this uh, does happen. And now we don't know. Uh, we, we can't. We don't know uh, if anyone's. You know, uh, we're going to have to experience this uh, in our lives. But things can happen where where uh, destruction will uh, take into effect. Uh, uh, our our very existence, uh, and th though t to what extent uh, we just don't know. Uh, we hope we hope uh, it never happens. I, I don't. I do not wish this on anyone. Uh, but if it does happen, we need to be prepared. Uh, and the best way to be prepared is to uh, know know all the possibilities that you have in uh, uh, available. And one of the best ways to uh, to know to know this is is to uh, to start with a clean slate. Just uh, just wipe away a lot of this stuff here, uh, as as we're doing here, and and uh, just be prepared. I, I think that's the trick here. That's that's what we're trying to talk about. Uh, get to the point here is uh, be prepared for uh, maybe the worst. However. The worst may not be necessarily the the, the very least uh, of your concerns. <laughs> uh, a e uh, a lot a lot of stuff can happen to you in your life, and uh, the impending doom uh, that may may or may not be uh, around the corner uh, is is not necessarily something that we need to uh, worry uh, so much with. Uh, we we just need to basically. Uh, you know, maybe try, try our best if we can uh, at whatever we're doing, uh, and 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 just know that you know there are there are bad things happening uh, in life, uh, and but uh, you know all we can really do, guys, is uh, keep keep trying uh, with with the life that we have. Uh, really, frankly, uh, you know, go shopping. Uh, uh, buy food, uh, food mart. Go to the food mart. Uh, try to try to eat uh, healthy food uh, and to, uh, to to put a smile on other people's lives uh, if you can. A lot, and then uh, that way uh, we will uh, 
at least tried our best. At least we tried our best. Uh, and uh, even though, of course, uh, right uh, in the distance, uh, the end of the world is uh, just right down the street. So uh, I think that's what we learned here today on Let's Paint TV is to uh, uh, keep, keep at it uh, and, and, and keep a smile on your face if you can. All right. Uh, and let's put a little put, put some, uh, blue, blue skies, blue skies. Uh, put some blue skies up here. There, there you go. Get, get, let me go wider on that. Uh, there, uh, whoop. Uh, let's, let's get a wider uh, color here if I can. It's taking a little second. Uh, okay there there you go boom that's it okay so get some blue skies there uh blue skies uh happiness my friends is uh is a figment of your imagination and at the same time it is a reality for let's paint tv i'm mr let's paint bye bye